Good morning everybody. Fine day Tuesday. It is an actual holiday here. Not sure which one it is, but it's a holiday. But hey, we're working. We got everything going still. So let's go see what's going on. Oh, it's already here. Looks like this is gonna be their mixing area. I wonder if they can find themselves a box to mix this in. Okay, they're busy in here getting this wall together. And put in the electrical because some of this wasn't set yesterday. I'm already, uh, yeah. Looks <laughs> like, uh, this corner right here is going to be super heavy <laughs> and cement to, to cover up that little corner area that they uh, notched out. I think we actually have a tighter 90 than that one that they used. I had uh, bought an extra one that was a little bit smaller, but um, maybe they couldn't find it. Anyways, let's take a look at their wonderful job that they're doing. It's gonna be beautiful, this wall is. This section right here, I'm not sure what the, what happened. Maybe it doesn't want to stick right in that area. And our fan outlet is up here. Good. So, having difficulties right now. Just uh, came to me. We forgot something in this wall. Um, our fiber line is going to come from that little area right there. Our pole, when we make it, our uh, fence in there. We're going to have our uh, power pole plus utilities and everything else. But our fiber is going to come down and we're going to put it underground and we were going to bring it in to this wall here or here but uh this wall is pretty full i don't want to really be cracking into any more of this and this wall is plastered already so not sure what to do i guess the christian or the foreman's gonna have to come up with an idea on that one surprising I was like man that cuts really slow cutting through all that metal I guess it's pretty uh, thick angle iron alrighty so we have another side up so we got one little section and we got a long ways to go long ways to go I'm not sure exactly how far apart they're having that uh, structurally set, but uh, there it looks like there's going to be a lot. All right, these poor guys up here and uh, enjoying this wonderful weather, hanging out way up here. It's actually a pretty uh, neat little setup they got. I climbed up here on top. Just to see what they have going on. Our trusses are coming along. Lots and lots of measurements, which is great. They ain't just uh, winging it and throwing them up, however. And uh, making it look good. And straight. And level. If you can see the little leveler right there on the side. So they're welding about an extra foot onto these six meter long uh, bars. All that bar stock is all six meters long and well, we're short about a foot on these runs. So they gotta add, weld an extra section onto them. 
<laughs> I'm sure we'll have all kinds of crazy commentators on uh, on this. But hey, you know what? This guy's welding is pretty good, so uh, and he's uh been doing it a long time. It'll be all right. Any, anyways, Christian uh, guarantees. So I'm over here trying to figure out how far our eaves is over here on the back side. I really hope it's not that long. I think that might be the section that sticks out way over past the foreman. I don't know if you can see it, but uh. Hopefully that's the angled one coming down. So I guess uh, I got two pieces of uh, rebar in the way. It's really stuck. So if we ever need a to our uh, wonderful third floor we wanted is now uh, gonna have. Yeah, only six uh, pieces of rebar on that section. I'm sure they'll be able to do something if we did it. It's a waiting game. <laughs> oh, so uh, yeah, they're welding it in place. So the long one is the top one. I feel bad for the former. He just got shocked. He was holding on to the wrong piece of metal at the wrong time, and when they uh, <laughs> lit it up, it shocked him. But, these guys are over here welding it into place. <laughs> so, you can see, even, even, even getting shocked, they're still having a good time and smiling and joking about it. <laughs> I'm trying to get it just right in place. We've measured this thing out, I think, probably ten times now before they uh, place it. Alright, they got that little section welded up. And he's about to do this section. All kinds of uh, different little directions on our roofing. I think there's a total of uh, one, two, three, four. I think maybe a total of six little angles on our roofing. Not a hundred percent sure on that, but uh, I'd have to look at it. I know our uh, our designs changed a little bit. <laughs> Right back at you. <laughs> so these are looking pretty good from yesterday. Drying out, there's some still patchy spots. There's that section up there. They, uh, yeah, they cut it out because there's supposed to be a power supply right there. I have a plug-in section right there for that wall. We're gonna run some uh, little lighting over it. This is like gonna be our family wall for all of our our wonderful pictures. I still was gonna do like a, a cute little family tree type thing for my side and her side. So it'll be neat, neat to see once uh once we get a chance to to work on it. So here's the fun part these guys do. This is their way they're leveling out the walls. This is why everybody has crazy looking walls. I mean, it's a big pull that they're using, but... It's interesting how they got it going on. I mean, it does the job for the most part. I gave them a square and they laughed at me. Because I, I wanted my corners squared out. So... But unfortunately, uh... They won't be laughing so much because it's gonna get squared out because 
If we gotta hang something on a wall, I don't want to have an uneven wall. You can go to a lot of people's houses and their walls are uneven because it wasn't leveled and squared out. This little corner over here where you can see the little run for the electrical, I don't know how they're gonna hide that, but it needs to be hidden. So I would suspect it's gonna be a big lump in this corner. We still have this wall to, to mud, so we'll see how it goes. I mean, this is the small, small little details, but they still count. It is afternoon, actually almost closing time. We spent a lot of time out uh, getting some items today. But we wanted to come in here and check and see what is going on for the afternoon. Looks like they got this all done up. Maybe there'll be another coat, I don't know, but it looks really, really good in here. Nice and smooth. They uh, uh, put it on heavy in this corner right here where the pipe was sticking out. But it looks good. Well, they're cleaning up in here right now. They ain't right there. There's the broom. Oh boy. So uh, earlier this morning and last yesterday, they had like all really uh, roughed out where they had cut out uh, where they had missed the electrical outlet. But it is there now. So these guys have been really busy today. They got this section of the truss done. They were working on that section that has all the bracing in it done. So they've actually, they did a bunch of bracing over on that set of trusses. I'm gonna see if I can climb up here in a minute. And there's the set of trusses that they're working on right now. Reinforcing it. So I just seen these guys have a welding mask, but uh, it's hilarious. They put sunglasses inside the uh, the lens, where it should be a number ten. I'm sure it's like number five sunglasses, or four, or three, whatever sunglasses it is. But uh, yeah, that's their wonderful safety. Hey, these guys are just hanging out up here. At least they got a nice view. It's gorgeous out. The wind's blowing a little bit. And lots and lots of welding going on. Is it straight? Is it level? <laughs> These guys are moving right along. I bet by Friday, most of this metal will be done, metal work done, and they'll just be uh, reinforcing everything. We are up here. Taking a look at what they got going on. Yeah, one, two, three. Got uh, five trusses up. I would suspect. They'll be doing the other side starting tomorrow. And they got a little bit of reinforcements left to do, but when I mean, they only got a half a day, I mean a half hour left, so most of the guys are cleaning up downstairs. But everything else is looking pretty darn good. Fancy. Oh. Time to go home. <laughs> 
These guys are worried about me getting sparked on, but they're getting no worse than me. <laughs> it's sort of going everywhere. So, they're doing the layout in, in the storage room. Let's see if I can get some decent footage with the crazy lighting going on. But, uh, laying out the string in crisscross pattern with a certain uh, amount in here. Check in, making sure it's all straight and level. Actually, I'm gonna come along later on and check how level this is. Oh, there's four men. A really intricate little string system they got going on for when they're putting it on. So, so these guys are putting in this wonderful half inch pipe for, for electrical, but they use the torch on it. And man. It has some crazy angle on it. They're struggling to get it all to fit in. But I mean, it's in. It's been there and a bend down there and a twist. But. Alright, everybody, that's about it for today. They're uh, wrapping it up, cleaning up, and uh, finishing some stuff up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up. If you did, hey, hit it anyways. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell button down there in the corner to get notified for the next time our videos come out. Thank you and have a good day. Goodbye.